you're cracking down. Well, take a look at your financial statements and you'll quickly realise you're being savaged by fees and commissions on everything from home mortgages, superannuation, insurance policies, pension funds and other investments. But most of us don't realise that we can get as much as $2,000 of those costs refunded. So, how do you get that money back? Helen Wellings finds out. If I can get three and a half thousand dollars, it's money that can go into my back pocket and rather than some brokers. The average Australian family has the products that they can get back about fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars back every year. It's money for Jam. A cheque for six hundred and fifty dollars rebated from her life insurance payments. Mother of two, Jackie Cameron, who runs a large tree farm, never realised until this year that she could claim back trailing fees and commissions that she's incurred. Money paid to a company's reps or third party brokers for selling financial products to customers. I can't believe that there are this amount of fees being levied on sort of products that I, every household has. So I'm going to claim the fees back on my car insurance, my mortgage I think next year, home and contents insurance and all up I think it's going to get me something like three and a half thousand dollars back that I would otherwise have been paying in fees. So that's, that's a lot of money and that's every year. So Paul, what does it actually cover? Look, it covers everything. Retail superannuation, pensions, home loans, mortgages, insurance policies, wrap accounts, you name it. You can be paying up to 20% of the premium you pay for insurance policies can be commissions. The fees may be minuscule, like 0.6 of a percent, hidden in repayments and premiums. But they just keep being charged year after year, as long as the account operates. If we don't claim the fees, the bank and insurance companies or their reps just pocket them year after year, and they can. If they've got 50 clients, they're probably making $100,000 a year just on fees and commissions. And that's not, they don't have to do 50 loans a year, they do 50 loans once, and then for the next three or four years, there's $100,000 coming in commissions. Paul Brady runs award-winning yourshare.com.au, a broker company specialising in rebates on trailing fees and commissions. Manage funds with Colonial First State, super with AMP, insurance with MLC. We think we can get back about 3500 for that client every year. This is the client database showing all the fees and commissions that the different companies take and they're unbelievably high. I'm normally not such a trusting person, I'm probably a bit sceptical, but I thought what can I lose? Judith Osheroff got back around $600 just for her small retail superannuation investment. Now she's going to claim on all her insurances. If I make a claim um, for fees charged on all of my policies, I could possibly get back between $1,500 and $2,000. I got $1,000 back last year just for superannuation and I expect to get close to $3,000 back this year having registered for mortgage, insurance and other financial products. CEO of the Australian Institute of Credit Management, Terry Collins, says if he wasn't aware about being able to claim, no wonder most people don't know. I didn't know about the fees and charges and I didn't know that they could be recouped. Well, it seems to me that, you know, if, if, if there's a chance that you can get substantial rebates, why wouldn't you give it a chance? Peter Switzer of Switzer Financial Services says rebates won't always apply, such as with industry super funds and certain insurance companies that don't pay commissions to financial advisors. Also, some financial advisors do give ongoing service and thus earn their fees. You've got to weigh up the value of a relationship with a very good broker and a very good advisor. Work out, ask them, what are they getting out of the relationship? If you think it's a fair cop and they're doing a good service, well, no, I wouldn't break a good relationship like that. You can't do this yourself. You need to go through licensed brokers or financial advisors to get your cash backs. Your share charges a percentage of the trailing fees collected, but the maximum amount retained by them is $295. You get the rest. So how do you do it? It's just filling out a simple form, sending it across to us. We'll do everything else for you. We'll tell you how much you can get back, when you're going to get it back. Interest rates are going up, food, electricity bills, they're all going up. There's financial pressure on all these Australian families out there. Get this money back. It's Helen Wellings reporting, and if you'd like to work out if you can get some money back, you'll find some helpful links on our website. Still ahead.